We as the church, with a kingdom mindset, look to the overwhelming needs of the world and say, God has, God has a solution for this problem. And each one of us have legal access to his realm and can make a difference to our world. We have open access to that. Why? Because we just read who we are. We are a royal priesthood, a chosen people, a holy nation. So we have the answer. We have open access to make a difference in our world. Therefore, it's up to us to seek God for the answer. Yeah? And we become the answer in much the same way that Joseph was in his time, Daniel was in his time to the kings of their day. What Joseph and Daniel achieved in their day, we can do the same today. Because we are a royal priesthood, a chosen people, a holy nation. And we are to, rep to represent God well. I don't know about you, but it saddens me when I see the state of the church and it doesn't represent God well. It's the saddest thing on earth, isn't it? Learning to display his art in instinctively and accurately is the passion of true lovers of God. God's art is to redeem all people. All the tools he uses to display his goodness are glor gloriously vast. Using his church with God-given gifts and talents, reaching into our felt needs of every individual. Only divine wisdom can meet that challenge. Folks, we need wisdom. We've seen that wisdom was there even before the world was. Wow. Luke 7 verse 35 says, Wisdom is proved right by all her children. Wow. Luke 7 verse 35 says, Wisdom is proved right by all her children. Who are her children? The six days of creation saw the most wonderful display of wisdom and art imaginable. Imagine it. Incredible, isn't it? As God spoke, the worlds were made. Light and beauty, sound and colour, all flow together seamlessly as wisdom set the boundaries of all creation itself. What a picture. Isn't that amazing? Look at the person next to you. That's what created. Wow, that's fantastic. As John and Debbie look into each other's eyes. <laughs> Seven days to go, darling. <laughs> Seven days to go. Wow. Wisdom finds pleasure in the act of creation. But its greatest, his, his greatest delight is in what? In you and me. His greatest delight is in you and me. Isn't that fantastic? Wow. Wisdom has found perfect companionship with humanity. We were born to partner with wisdom. A great example of this is found in Exodus 31, verse 1 to 5. I think I've got his name right. Bazazam, I think he pronounces it. Bazalel. 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 Okay, when I get to that name, you just shout the name. Out. <laughs> then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bazalel. son of the son of, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God. Do you know that's the first scripture in the Word when it says if God filled a human being with the Holy Spirit? You've learned some today, haven't you? That's the first human being on this planet, Earth, when it says that he filled him with the Spirit of God. With skill, ability and knowledge in all kinds of crafts. I have filled him with the Spirit of God with skill. Remember these scriptures, okay? Remember these words with skill, ability and knowledge in all kinds of crafts. To make, artist, to make artistic designs for working gold, silver and bronze. To cut and set stones to work in wood 
and to engage in all kinds of craftsmanship. We were, create, we were created to be created. This is the first mention of a person filled with the Holy Spirit in Scripture. He was called to head up a building project for Moses. He was to build God a house that he might dwell among his people in. God revealed what he wanted, what he wanted that to look like. But it would take a special gift of wisdom to know how to get it done. Yeah? Okay? God revealed what he wanted that house to look like, but it would take a special gift of wisdom to how to get that work done. What's his name on it? Bezalel. 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 Bezalel was given supernatural wisdom to complete the task with artistic excellence. And it is the cause and effect of being filled with the Holy Spirit. That was part of what being filled with, with the Spirit looked like, looked like in Moses' day. But listen to this. If the Holy Spirit looked like that in Moses' day, that was before New Testament times. In New Testament times, the Holy Spirit adds the power element. Yeah? And every believer now has access to, to the miracle realms for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And if Bezazel was able to achieve what he did, how much more can we achieve? Amen. Wow, isn't that fantastic? If he was able to do that for God, without the power of the Holy Spirit, how much more can we do? If we can grasp that, we can take on the world, can't we? It's amazing. We can change our world around us. Wow. And he wants us all to be creative the way we do. How much more can we do? So believers filled with the Holy Spirit who walk in wisdom, making practical contributions, in other words, ministry. Yeah, that's what ministry is making pra practical contributions. Yeah? yeah? All because of what Jesus achieved on the cross should display the supernatural. So miracle signs and wonders should be the norm of our everyday life. That's what it's saying. But because of hierarchy, it's taken that out of the church. But the time has come, the day of the new wine's come. And it's coming back into the church. And this will again be the norm in the church today. I don't know about you, who wants to ask God for wisdom this morning? Yeah. I think it's an impartation time. Who's up for that? Yeah. If you want wisdom today, I'd say come, to come to the front and, and get pray, pray, pray for you. You up for that? Yeah. Let's all stand in. Jace, can you get a team to move all, all the chairs, mate?